Hi guys, welcome back. Skellig here and we're off for more of Mother 2 slash Earthbound in the last episode. We went all the way through Adrenaline Field Valley, not Peace or Rest Valley, hell no. Because it was filled to the brim with UFOs that gave me the sniffles and territorial oaks that wanted to explode. Yeah, that's right, walking trees with a tendency to explode and burst into flames. And we made it to Happy Happy Village, which doesn't seem too happy right now. It's got a case of the blues, because we got jazz people, it's all blue. Okay, that was terrible. And in this episode, we are f still searching for Paula. It's been the issue for the past three episodes, hasn't it? But we got hint, we got word in the last episode. Bloody, I'll get ambushed immediately after coming in this cave. Just suddenly out of nowhere, I've been saying coat is just... We're like, hi guy! Wanna hug you? Wanna cover you in blue paint? That's nowhere near poison, even though it, can, it actually does damage by using a paint attack. Like so. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going with this. I just recorded an episode of Donkey Kong 64, which would be part 11 for you guys. And it's, I was just so scabbarined, I didn't know what was going on. I was As soon as I was like prepared myself to record, things just didn't go my way. I was all over the place. And even though it's a long episode, that's only because I fell down the bloody production room so many times. And it's been a while since I've recorded this game as well, like with part 10 of Donkey Kong 64. Or was it part 8? I think it was part 8 actually. Uh, no, part 9, excuse me. Because of V3 and whatnot. It's been a couple weeks since I've recorded this last, because I had so many videos built up. Like with, um... Ness is now on level 17. IQ went up by 1, HP went up by 3, PP went up by 5. Decent for PP. That's all I can say about that level up. But yeah, it was... Oh my god, really? No, leave me be... Oh, okay. For God's sake. Oh my god, really? <laughs> we just had this battle. But yeah, it's been a couple weeks since I've recorded because I had a lot of... Um, I had pretty much episodes 5 to 8 of both this series and Donkey Kong 64 recorded. Then um, a few more episodes of um, Super Mario 64 multiplayer went up. Which, by the way, is getting an upgrade at this point, so... Keep an eye on that. It's actually a very belated up upgrade. We should have had it like since episode 4, maybe, but... We were late for the party, so... I only just found it recently. Or more like the, uh... The... I've only just found the trailer. It's weird. I, I never saw the trailer, so... Strange. But, yeah, um... Oh my god, really? I just killed you? Or turned you back to normal? I don't kill people in this game. You don't kill people in this game! That's not how it works. Only mercy, or... Snap them back to their senses, that's what it is. Um, but yeah, um... I don't know what to say at this point, because right now, we've only got one goal. I mean, how many episodes has it been since we've been told to... Bloody flipping hell, that's a lot of experience. How many times has it been told that we've had to, like, go rescue Paula? It's been at least three to four episodes at this point. And thank God we're coming to the end of this arc, because it feels like forever. Well, I've been typing in bloody Twitter and Facebook. It's like, we gotta go rescue Paula! And yes, you can actually come around this way. That's cool. And that's the way I like to go. There's Paula! Who oh, no. knew? Who? Are you Ness? Ness, I'm so glad it's you. I had a dream that a boy named Ness was my destiny. Well then! <laughs> well, I know it's hard to believe. Therefore, I knew you would rescue me. If you didn't come, I would have had to try to bust out of here. Well, if we never showed up and her prophecy was a lie, she would take her own destiny into her hands. That's kind of badass, to be honest. See, that bow on her head doesn't just make her a pretty face. You can't open the door. You'll have to get the key from Carpainter. He's got it hidden away. I heard Carpainter can control lightning. That's bad. In any case, you should wear this Franklin badge, okay? What, do you want to get fried by lightning? Get rid of something so I can give you the Franklin badge. Am I seriously maxed out? Well, that's never happened before. Shit, I'm kind of filled up with everything. Why have I still got the Mr. Baseball cap? Before I got rid of that. God's sake. I'll eat the hamburger. I've got life up. I'm good. I've got enough PP to actually use it multiple times now. So now it continues from here. Okay, so that's the first time I've had to deal with that issue. But yeah, um, there was also an NPC in the last episode that we talked to. In Happy Village said, You deserve to get struck by lightning. That was a clue. If you went straight into Car the Carpenter's house and go through the dungeon, if he used an electric attack, it would have done so much damage at this point in the game that you would not live. And yeah, that's what the Franklin Badge does. It nullifies lightning damage. 
I'll wait here until you return. Come back here and get me out once you defeat Carpainter. Don't worry about me, just kick butt like I know you can. Wow, she has high hopes for us. And she's given us the ability to survive an attack from Carpainter. Hello, Pokey! Pokey out of nowhere! <laughs> hey, Ness. You're just here to bother me, aren't you? You walked up to me. You could call me Master Pokey, since Master Cowpea told me to be an important person in Happy Happyism. Well, you are wearing blue, and we were told that people who wear or look blue have some bad tendencies within them, but then again, we're wearing blue. Hmm. Are we the villain? Who knows? I think that's never actually been discussed. What's the game theory on that? You should join us, but I know you won't. I'm glad I joined. I'm not going to fight you, but these guys will. Later, potato. <laughs> you smega fat bastard. So, we're friends with him at the beginning of the game, even though he does nothing for us, and now he's turned traitor. And it not only sticks us the same bloody battle twice already that we've already had, but sticks a spiteful crow in it, which I'm immediately going to bash because I'm not having anything stolen. Get out of my face. I don't think he, they can take Franklin Badges because they are rare items in this game. So it's free damage. You guys can't do nothing to me. And this is a required battle. Normally I would cut this out. but The reason why I didn't cut out the first two is because one came out of nowhere and one of them just... Well, I was talking during that. Like I said in most RPGs when I'm doing, if I'm talking, I'm obviously not going to cut because I'll have to hold my sentence and the battle could take up to 10 minutes and then I'll lose what I'm saying. Like the beginning episode of Final Fantasy VI, the first few episodes, like the first bloody cave on the way to South Figaro. Got absolutely tongue-tied. Got a nice smash tag right there, 127 damage. 50 HP. Paint attack. Yeah, you keep doing that. You're just like doing chip damage to me. It's like a pinch. It's like scratch me in the face with the brush, eh? Oh my god! What is this battle right now? Yeah, what? Well, screw you all. PSA rocking! Waboosh! Yeah, I wasn't having that. And they both lived anyway. Are you gonna call for. Are you gonna call for a letter E, perhaps? Gonna call for a letter E, or you're all maxed out? Because this formation kind of looks like it's maxed out. Unless you want to revive A or something by respawning him. Alright, so D is finally down. Are you done? Finally! My god, we just got the maximum amount of experience out of that battle. That may have actually helped us in the long run. Enemy left a present as well. Oh, it's a cookie. Ness can't carry any more stuff. Do you want to throw something away? No, the cookie is useless. Will you leave the cookie behind? I will leave the cookie behind. I abandoned the cookie. Aww. Now I feel bad. I abandoned the cookie. Cookie, you and your skip sandwich, come back here. And there was a bunch of spiteful crows blocking the way as well. There was like three of them. That's weird. Considering that they're too weak for me to even... Too, too weak for me to even have a challenge with them. I wouldn't be able to one-shot them, though. I would still have to go into the battle because of how many there were. But yeah, um, I think I said in the last episode I wanted to keep the baseball bat in case if I could give Paula the hard hat, but considering how pressed I am for space and I don't have any other space... No, I don't want to buy anything. Jesus. Yes, please. Thank you for actually giving me that option because I pressed the wrong option and tried to buy something. Get rid of the Mr. Baseball cap. That's actually... That's pretty much my wallet right there. I will take... Can I get you anything else? Uh, no, I don't think so. I think I just needed to clear that one space out. And I am actually going to talk to Dad, because even though obviously I saved before the beginning of the episode, I have a save state back up, so I can do this. And plus, if I do die by car painter, but for whatever reason, I would have to go back and talk to Paula again. Because you re always respawn at your previous save. Which kind of sucks. You know, that's kind of weird. If you respawn at your previous save with half your money and no PP, it'd probably just be better just to reload your save. Then again, you do keep all your experience that you earned during that portion, so... Ness is now level 18! I just fought one of those guys, the blue car painter dudes, the, the, the blue cultist, that's what it is. Insane cultist. Offense went up by one, luck went up by one, HP went up by one, PP went up by one. I was just about to say, that was a shit level up. Never mind. So far every level up has been amazing. 
Or at least decent. Let's go check what that is. Not like that game. <laughs> Stupid me. PSI Flash. You know that blue, that greenish flash tag that this does in um, Smash? That's what this is. It generates a strong flash that can make the enemy start un start crying uncontrollably and in some circumstances feel strange. So it can cause confusion or lower their accuracy, basically. Higher up ones can actually have an effect of... How, well, basically having more chance on dealing what, what's already here, confusion and whatnot. But it can actually uh, one-shot enemies if you're lucky. Just like in Smash, if you like, get the flash at the right precise point and it hits in the middle while it's at its largest, it can actually one-shot people, like in uh, Melee. But I think that was dummy down in uh, Smash 4. So I don't know. It's funny how you call it Smash 4 because, you know, it's either Smash 4 Wii U or Smash 4 3DS. So just saying Smash 4 it is the fourth in the series, so technically that makes sense. Why am I going on about that right now? I don't know. Is this the inn? No, this is the dungeon. Okay, that's creepy enough already as it is. Fun fact! You are not gonna get bum-rushed and get killed. You might immediately think that. It's like, I've got to kill this many enemies at once. No. The ones that move slower are walls. As you just saw, I tried to talk to them. No problem here. The ones that have a faster frame rate or faster animation, like this guy here, is actually ones that you can talk to. Because they're going to be next to like one gap, like this gap right over here. And he'll move out of the way when you deal with him. Blue, blue. Oh, you'd like to be one of us? Then give up what you're doing and go meet the great carpet, Mr. Carpenter, as soon as possible. And he moves out of the way. Some of them will fight you, though. Now us open the present. There's a croissant inside. I take it. You are animated. I don't think I've ever talked to you before. Wait, you're not? No, you're not. You have just a slightly different frame rate. You confused me. You have a higher flame rate. You have a higher frame rate. I'll talk to you first. Don't bother us. We're in the middle of prayer. Okay, I'll move out of your way. Go quickly. What do you mean, no problem here? I'm talking to the guy. Blue, blue. What? I'm blocking you? Okay, I'll move out of your way then. Blue, blue. I say, arm the torpedoes. Full speed ahead. Or something like that. So now I'll crush you. Alright, this guy does not like us. Even though, once again, like I've already mentioned, I'm technically wearing blue with a, with a blue-yellow striped shirt. Maybe he doesn't like the yellow or the redness of my cap. Is that the issue? Who knows? Let's just take out this blue Santa-wearing hat, dude. And you're out of here. It was a static encounter. That's why I left it in. 353 experience. Not bad experience. Uh, no one is moving fast around here, so we've got to go down this way. Uh, let's see here. You're moving faster than everyone else here. Blue, blue. I'll stand somewhere else. No problem here. So, where must I go? Ah, I see it. Blue, blue, what? Are you saying I'm only capable of walking in place? That's not true! Look here. <laughs> green, green, oops, that's not it. I'm still new at this. <laughs> you, newbie! You should have known not to let me through. Okay, so we've got another Prezi here. A skip sandwich. You know what? I'm gonna... Oh, that's gonna mess up my OCD, though. I do want to grab it just so. There's nothing else I can drop, is there? Screw it, I'll have the luck capsule. I don't need this skip sandwich, I'm gonna eat it immediately, but it's health, it's it's free health. If I eat it now, it will help me get through this area a little bit quicker. Whatever. And like I said, it's OCD having every chest open in the game when I play. Blue, blue, I'm trying to learn how to whistle. I heard that whistling makes one smile. Practice over there. Blue, blue, you stranger mask fellow, don't go to heaven. You what? <laughs> What do you mean, unmasked? You're not wearing a mask, you're just wearing a hat with that actually goes over your face. I guess that is a mask in a way, because it is covering your face, but... It's just a hat with eye holes cut out of it. The hat's too big for you, mate. You all look like idiots. Alright, so he's actually gone from this universe. Blue, blue! Hey, you! Anti-blue boy, you're getting on my nerves! Okay, that dude wants to fight me as well. Alright. Well, I'll get on your nerves by bashing you. I'm starting to run out of material here. 
Okay, now you've just made me feel blue. <laughs> God damn it. Yeah, these stack encounters are kind of annoying. I'm just getting them all for the sake of experience. And because it's static, I can't cut it out because that's kind of a thing. If it's a proper encounter, I'm going to keep it in. Do -do 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 -do. 706 experience. That is actually pretty close to an next level up, I think, actually. Can't talk to that guy, so that's a red herring right there. I'm getting lag because there are a bunch of moving guys up front. In fact, you can actually talk to all of these moving ones and they will do stuff, but I don't want to if possible. In fact, that one guy is just holding up the line. Why is that? Blue, blue, your outfits. The color is wicked. Is he just going to make them all stop where he is? I don't think that's supposed to happen. Strangely enough, I don't think that's supposed to happen. Why do I feel like I'm getting the f feeling I'm missing something here? Nah, I'm not missing anything. My god, it's so slow in here because there's like four NPCs at once. Can I please get through this door? Okay. So yeah, the dungeon isn't that uh, big. In fact, I think this is our guy. I I screamed because I didn't know what else to do. Okay. Weirdo. <laughs> Hang on a minute. What is that statue? Like I said, if you didn't go to Live Exaggerate's house after it becomes daylight in on it, like right before you go into town and start grinding, fight Frank, go to Giant Step and then go to Tucson. If you go to Live Exaggerate, he dug out a weird horn-like statue, which is that very statue. And then he, as soon as he invited you to like have a look at it, he became snarky and kicked you out of the house. Well, he didn't kick you out of the house, he just sent you away. So why the hell was Mr. Carpenter got this statue? Is he going to be a jerk as well? Or is he just naturally an idiot? Well, nothing else to do but to challenge him. Thanks for coming. I know, I've been waiting for you. I need your assistance to help make the world blue and change it into a happy and peaceful society. Fun fact, buddy, the earth is like over 50% blue. I forget the actual percentage, I think it's 65 to 75. Will you be my right hand assistant? No. If you don't want to be my right hand, my left would be just fine. Just kidding. Your existence is a problem for me and my religion. Defy me and I'll end your pitiful game. And you would have died right then and there. Before the battle even begins. However, Carpenter's lightning was reflected by the Franklin badge. Thank you, Paula. We can actually get into the battle. Alright. Carpenter. I bash you and do 37 HP of pitiful damage. Crushing boom bang attack. Didn't hit anyone. That's actually his electric attack. But the problem is we reflect that and bounce it right back at him and does massive damage. Yeah, this battle is a joke. Just keep attacking him. Let him do... Oh, he has actually life up alpha. I forgot about that. So he's just healed 101 of that 127 damage he took. But if he keep using, if he keeps using his uh, flash, his lightning attacks, his big boom bang attack, that, which is what this is, he'll eventually kill himself if it hits you. But it missed twice. I think if you use uh, PSI uh, Thunder as well, or Lightning, or whatever it's called, um, the same thing happens. Now he's got a Psychic Shield, so I can't hit him with um, a PSI Rocket, and that's what it is. So I'll just go for Life Up. Yeah, like uh, most status affecting uh, moves in games, like Final Fantasy with its poison-like abilities, or sleep and stuff like that, and with this game's PSI Flash and Hypnosis, I don't use them that often. In fact, I hardly ever use them at all. Even if it could be useful, the times that you would actually like to use them in with boss battles, they don't they resist it because that'll make the fight too easy. And with that, without even bothering to focus, I won. Gives me a nice helping of experience right there. Pretty much the same as that battle that Pokey got us into, and they called out for maximum people. Do you see the Manny Manny statue behind me? Since I got the statue, I have been doing p peculiar things. Please forgive me, if you can. I just wanted to have a normal. I just want to have a normal life. I, I apologize to everyone. Here's the key to open the jail to the mountain cabin where Paul is being held. Take the key and go. What have I done? I got the key to the cabin. Paula, we're coming for you. Please forgive me if you can. I just want to have a normal life. I apologize to everyone. So, it is the statue that's making people go twisted. If we battle them enough, the statue apparently deems them unworthy and they regain their sanity, realize what they've done, and. The music is all kooky now. 
and this place is cleared out. So if you did miss anything, you can just run back through. Looks like almost everyone woke up and left. There are only three people remaining. I don't want to stay. I'm getting out of here. Yep. I'm getting out of here. Sorry about everything. Let's be buddies. No. No! Will you try to kill me? I don't want to be buddies with people who kill me. You! Get out of my face! What a horrible nightmare. I somehow woke up. Yes, let's be friends again. Please answer me. I promise to be good. Okay. Ha! I lied. See you, sucker. Apparently, Pokey hasn't changed. Eh, that's the norm. He's a joke, anyway. Anyway, now that we have the key to the cabin... And we're only 20 minutes in, really? Wow, this episode's gone by really quick. I'm gonna cut until we get back to the place where Paula's being held. To the cabin! Yo, lady, I'm here to save you! Yes, you got the key. Are you hurt? Yeah, a little. I'm sorry for all the trouble I've caused you. If you say no, she'll be like, oh, that's fine. Uh, oh yeah, I have to actually use the bloody key. Ness, use the key to the cabin. There we go. Thank you, Ness. You're just like I imagined you would be. I'm sure that some people in Tucson are worried about me. Getting back there may be dangerous, but we can do it if we combine our strength. And I'm able to use a little psychic power that is actually pretty deadly. Let's head back to Tucson. That's right, she's our mage of the game. She's the one with all the attacking PSI, just like, um... Why am I forgetting her name? Why am I forgetting her name? Paula joined you. Who was the girl in frickin'... Anna, that's her name. My god, I had such a bloody mind blank right there. Just like Anna in the first game, she's the main attacker. Let's go check out her stuffs. Sadly, she's level 1. We're like a clean 17 levels above her. That is not good. She's got 30 HP, 10 psychic points, pretty much what we started out with. Our literal exact same stats. Probably experience curve is a bit different. But she should be shooting up in the levels as soon as we get into some battles. She has PSI Freeze to start off with, causes a very cold wind to swirl around one enemy, dealing 180 points of damage upon average. And it can freeze the enemy completely, but it's a very slim chance as it's the basic version of Freeze. Only targets one enemy at a time, and it may not be so effective against some enemies that are probably, you know... Fire, maybe? I don't know. Maybe, it's, maybe you can use them on fire. But yeah, she hasn't got anything else, but she can learn life up alpha pretty early, I believe so. But that means she also has literally nothing in her inventory, including equipment. All she has is a bread roll and a teddy bear. And you know what? I am going to give her the croissant, because we need to empty out Ness's equipment. And this is when we actually have a bit of a boost in equipment, just like in the first game as well. Once you get a new party member, they can hold items themselves, but if they get knocked out, they cannot use their items and you have to take them out of their bag in order to use it in the first place. And for that reason, I like to give her all the healing items other than the cup of life noodles because we have the most health at the moment. And I normally have um, Paula hold most of the healing items at this point in the game and any other items I do not need and all key items as well as obviously Ness's equipment stay with Ness. So I've got all the uh, key items including the Franklin badge. I actually want to keep the flanking badge on Ness, because if Paula gets knocked out, she can get knocked out by anything at this point, so it would be pointless for her to have it. Cabin knife noodles, I'll need that to revive Paula if she gets knocked out, and they're the only exceptions at the moment of my game plan. But as soon as we try to leave, from the south of the cabin by the way, you can just go up and around and bypass this altogether, but because I love it! I have pictures taken instantaneously. I'm a photographic genius if I do say so myself. Okay, get ready for instant memory. Look at the camera. Ready, say, fuzzy peckers. Don't know what that was. Jazz, blues. So what I did there, tied it all up. What a great photograph. It will just bring the fondest of memories and I will fly away once again. Pokemon Go. Team Rocket. It's going to be a thing. My mate here in Kazawaki Sake is actually part of that group on Facebook. Uh, team, t uh, I think it's called Team Rocket Go. It's like Team Rocket for Pokemon Go, basically. They do like Pokemon related shindigs. And this place has immediately got painted back to normal again. How the hell do they get that all that paint off so quickly? Who the flip knows? I'll take a free heal. I think it go gives you like 20 PP for every character. We won't know that though because Paula's already, you know, maxed out. 
So yeah, um, this place is all back to normal again. They said someone named Pokey stole all the food from the food stand. Well, seems like it, the bananas are gone. I heard many footprints exist deep in the... Many footprints exist deep down in the East Cave. People call that Lilliput Steps. Makes them feel uneasy. Lilliput Steps, that sounds important. Maybe we want to do that before we head back to Tucson, because I've got to go all the way over there and all the way back again. That won't be fun. It was hard on the eyes to have everything blue. Yeah, it was actually. It made the whole bloody palette dark. Mr. Carpenter was pretty strange, but so was everyone else. Including myself. Nah, I'm kidding. Ah, oh, what the hell, I'm strange. I'm a strange person. What a strange person! Okay. I'm a changed person. I'm no longer a believer in happy happyism. Anyway, I'm very curious about the place that lies ahead of here. You've said that before. Alright, we will check out that cave in the next episode, because we're at 25 minutes right now, and we've got a power-up Paula. And she's got a teddy bear to cushion damage, which is very nice. We need to buy stuff. Forgive me the stuff. I need to buy everything. This is really, really bad. Ha. Huh. Copper bracelet. I really would like that right now. Uh, well, I'm definitely going to get the ribbon. Which of you will carry this? Now we can actually choose who to give it to. Of course, Paula will. Are you going to do a quick bit? Yes, I will. 2 to 22! There we go. Hopefully she will live 1 HP at some point. She hasn't got the high guts, though. Everything's 2. So, we got to buy more. The Holmes hat doesn't really seem to do anyone. I, in fact, I think the Holmes hat is just a basic hat equip for everybody. Copper bracelet, frying pan. Well, I have to give her the frying pan. That's her only weapon at the moment. She, once again, like Anna, she uses pans as her primary weapon. So that's that. I might have to actually take out a bit of money. Two to twelve. I'm gonna have to get out my money. Right. right. Please select a transaction. I want to withdraw some money. One thousand five hundred fifty-nine. That is not too shabby at all. I'll just draw out a clean five hundred. That should be more than enough. There we go. Even though they have a till system right there, I could probably put my card in, but no, it's weird. I always have to pay by cash. That's just how this is. Show me the cash! And you can, and with the goods, you can dash, as they say in Magic Ant in the first game. Yeah, just referencing the previous game quite a lot at this point, aren't I? So what do I want here? I do want that sand bat, but I want that copper bracelet for Paula. That's a bit of expensive, but you know, got to be done. Friendship bracelet! <laughs> Paula's defense went f up another 10! Not bad at all. Ness doesn't need it. He knows he has something that resists um, paralysis, and that's pretty t pretty sweet at the moment. And the sandbox bat. That'll be the last thing we'll get. Might as well upgrade. Yep, Ness can have it. Would you like to equip it? Yes, please. There we go! That's sweet damage right there. That's a clean five points up. Yeah, buy the teapot bat. Wow, that's not worth a lot at all. And again, it's probably got dents and chips and god knows what else. I'm going so in depth. This ain't freaking Zelda Breath of the Wild. Spoilers. But yeah, um, I think we're going to end it here. So, with Paula rescued, finally, we're going to check out this cave and figure out what Lilliput's steps are. Before we head back to Tucson and return Paula back to her mother and father. See you guys then.